right now up there in space, aiming right down on our planet are, are effectively death rays. Serious threat to life on Earth. For a moment, it outshone the entire universe. This was one of the biggest explosions since the Big Bang itself. A gamma ray burst within 8,000 light years would spell the end of life on Earth. It would be an extinction level event. It's almost like you're staring down the barrel of a gun. This is the case of the death ray. It's not weapons that are our biggest threat in space. It's the natural phenomena that are out there. Radiation, micrometeorites, impacts, collisions, the heat, the cold. It's a dangerous, dangerous place. This is Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado. It's home to a museum of some of the earliest military technology sent into orbit, including the Vela satellite. Detection of nuclear explosions by instruments 60,000 miles above the Earth, beyond the range of sound, but not beyond the reach of unleashed radiation, is the mission of the Vela satellite program. Almost immediately after they were launched, the Vela satellites actually did start detecting signals. Really intense, short bursts of gamma rays. But they weren't matching the signal that you'd expect from nuclear weapons. In fact, they appear to be coming from all over the sky. They're very intense, they're very strong. They're actually even seemingly beamed right to the Earth. In January 2019, a massive gamma ray burst was detected, GRB 1901-14C. Observatories all over the world pointed their telescopes at it, but it was the Hubble Space Telescope that captured this dramatic image of the afterglow fading away in a distant galaxy. Turns out the burst was 4.5 billion light years away. This burst had more energy than the sun will put out over its entire lifetime. And for a moment, it outshone the entire universe. What could have put out that much energy? Once we determined that these gamma ray bursts were traveling halfway across the universe, there was still this epic mystery. What phenomenon could generate so much power? The most violent events that we know of in the universe are called supernovas, and these are caused by the death of giant stars. But when the very biggest stars die, they create something called hypernovas. Hypernovas are explosions that are up to 100 times more powerful than supernovas, and they light up with the brightness of a billion suns, and they do spit out vast amounts of gamma radiation. The best analogy we have for how a hypernova could create a gamma ray burst is a lighthouse. Up there is a powerful bulb surrounded by a complex system of lenses that focuses the light into a beam that can be seen from miles away. And we think that a hypernova could create a gamma ray burst in the same way, channeling all of the energy from the explosion into a tightly focused beam potentially a death ray aimed directly at Earth. When a star explodes in a hypernova, its core collapses into a black hole that sucks in the remains of the dying star. But crucially, just like this whirlpool, black holes spin. So the material doesn't fall straight in. Instead, the gas and dust spirals around the black hole, creating what's called an accretion disk. The material in this accretion disk is spinning at almost the speed of light. There's a huge amount of turbulence. 
It's hotter and brighter than almost anything else in the universe. Within the accretion disk, the magnetic fields are millions of times stronger than the Earth's magnetic fields. And they spin so fast, it creates enormous forces. But just like the Earth's magnetic field, the black hole's field is shaped like a donut, channeling energy away from the accretion disk and towards the poles. But as they spin, the magnetic fields get twisted, wrapping around each other until something has to give. The magnetic field snaps. The energy can't escape horizontally because of the spin of the disk, so it escapes vertically. The whole process, from the collapse of the star to the production of the gamma ray burst, can be over in a matter of seconds. An unimaginable blast. And then, gone. The dead star has become the death ray, and woe betide anyone or anything that gets in its way. How dangerous would a gamma ray burst be if it hit the Earth full on? The first thing we notice is a flash of ultraviolet light, lasting a few seconds. It would be enough to give everybody a sunburn. Cars, computers, phones, communication systems, all wiped out. Power lines would go down, planes would fall out of the sky, and half the planet would be without electricity. That would be bad, but you wouldn't have to worry about it for very long. Because after that, there would be a huge wave of fast-moving subatomic particles called muons, hundreds of billions of them per square inch. They'd penetrate the cells of all living things, destroying the DNA, killing everything they touch. Whichever way you look at it, a gamma ray burst within 8,000 light years would spell the end of life on Earth. It would be an extinction level event. The majority of the stars in our Milky Way aren't rotating rapidly enough to produce a gamma ray burst. However, there's over 200 billion stars in our Milky Way. There must be one out there. There must be a rogue system with the potential to produce a gamma ray burst. And in 2018, we found one, just 8,000 light years away. We have called it Arpep after the Egyptian god of destruction. In about half a million years, they will go hyper. As if one of the stars at the heart of Arpep is rotating incredibly fast. Fast enough to rip itself apart. So that means that when it does go hypernova, if it's still rapidly rotating, it would produce a gamma ray burst. As you can kind of tell from this image, the system is pointed right at us. So if it does produce a gamma ray burst, it would come rushing towards us. A good analogy for this might be something like a, a blindfolded sniper. His odds of actually hitting you are pretty low, but if it's aimed in exactly the right spot, it's going to be deadly. A near enough supernova going off with a gamma ray burst beamed in the right direction would be absolutely lethal to life on Earth. 